Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and well, Leo, are you okay? What's going on, Leo? Welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. And would you look at that? It finally happened. I have trapped the bus driver. Oh, hi. All right, Richard. There's just one thing I I want to give you, buddy. There you go. <laughs> He's gonna call my mother. Aren't I like 30 years old? Good, good luck after your run, by the way. So now we're just going to see how long he stays here. By the way, if you don't know what's going on, you'll have to watch the last episode. This guy tried to kill me, so I tried to trap him. Uh, took me a couple weeks, but it is successful. Anyways, the bus is the least of our worries right now because we have a new update to enjoy. It is the old truck update, which is this beautiful thing. The thing we, of course, started with. Uh, we're supposed to be able to customize it now, I believe. So uh, it is much needed because these tires look like they're more moss and rust than anything else. Exterior. Oh, I got floodlights now. That's exciting. <laughs> I don't know why that's exciting, but it is. At, at least at nighttime, it'll be easy to see in here. So I don't know much about this. You know what? Let's actually go to town before we do anything. Mostly because I just want to get away from this noise, but the, oh, I'm sorry. I just ran into my dog. I don't think you can come in, Leo. Leo, just stay home. Make sure the bus driver doesn't rob me or something. But yes, there is a new store we can enjoy as well. If you remember the, uh, what looked to be a grocery store. I don't know if that's what it actually is. Uh, was on the main strip. I believe we can unlock that now. So I definitely want to go see how hard that's going to be. I should also mention I've been grinding a little bit off recording. So I got, uh, 20. Whoa. Oh, oh, how the hell did that happen? I just like jumped. All right. Well, starting off strong. Yep. This, this seems like we're definitely back in Mon Bazoo. Landed it. That's the important part. Uh, but yeah, I was doing a little bit off recording and prep for this update because I was talking to the developer and I knew a big one was coming. Uh, so we got 25 grand in the bank in case we do need it. Oh my God. Was that Leo? I think I just ran over friggin' Leo again. But yeah, I got a bunch of money so we can spend some of that if we do need to. And yeah, I'm just super excited to upgrade my old truck. There's a bunch more things to this update as well. I think we can pave our road, which is something I would definitely love to do because I've fallen off that hill so many times. Hell, I just did it. All right. So yeah, I believe this is the new store. Unfortunately, it's still boarded up. Well, not boarded up. It's newspapered up technically. Uh, I don't know if it had the phone number before. So if we call that, we might f figure out how to do this. So I'll write that down and call it when we get home. All right. So looking around the old shop, I know there's supposed to be new rims. I don't know if they come from the black market or what. Uh, we do have different steering wheels now. God, it's been so long since I last played. I don't remember what's new and what's old. But yeah, I believe this is all for the Koenig. Um, so I'm assuming... I don't know if the grocery store will be for the truck or where we get the new parts. Again, it might be the black market as well. Looking around town, I'm not seeing too many new things, but check out this. I have a maple syrup storage bay in this thing. I don't know if that's new or not, but I just found it out now. Wait, why is my, why, why is my car here? Did I leave my car here? Oh, I don't want to leave this here now, but I do want my car more than anything else. All right, yeah, not really sure what happened. Oh, that's right. That's right. I was street racing and I kept dying, I believe. So that's probably why this is here. Ah, he must have got out of it. So I'm assuming he just despawns when I'm far enough away. At least I caught him once and that feels pretty damn good. So let's call this number. Hopefully this unlocks something. Did my... Whoa, I feel like I can jump way higher in this game now. <laughs> All right, so 5555890. Five, 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 Please tell me I can unlock this. Sorry, but this building is already rented. What the, what the frick does that mean? That doesn't explain anything. Who's renting it? Oh, damn it. This update explains nothing. So we're going to have to go figure that out. Wait, I got a rose? Just for you. Enable grid mode. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's right. He added grid mode. So, I mean, I've already set up all my weed. I'm probably not going to deal with it. Speaking of that, we should probably uh, harvest right now. But yes, there is now a grid mode, which you can use to obviously place these in perfect lines. I'm happy with this. It would take forever to reset it now. Okay, so looking more into the update, Roger has an unlockable store, it says. So I'm assuming being that there's only one new store, at least I think, uh, that's probably the shop. I'm also starving. We should probably eat some delicious poutine. Not like we don't still have a lot. I... 
God, it's been forever since I've actually made poutine. Oh, are you hungry? I am such a bad parent. I, I, I am sorry, buddy. Here you go. Have some food. I'll water you as well. Oh, I have food everywhere. He's probably just wanting water. All right, there's some water over here, buddy. I hope you're smart enough to come this way. I am sorry. There you go. Yeah, run right through everything. Poor dude's <laughs> dying of thirst. So yeah, as I was saying, Roger should have a store. Now, Roger's the guy that owns the black market, which is where I need to go, at least I think anyways, to um, buy some of these truck upgrades. So he opens up on Friday, which is convenient because it's Thursday right now. So we'll head over there tomorrow and see what we can do. Up until then, we can't really do much aside from just the generic stuff, which is earn more money in this game. All right, it's Friday, and yes, indeed, the guy is out. So let's see if we can get him to purchase this place. It's kind of interesting, and he's going to purchase the shop he's always selling beside. I'm not seeing a lot of new things. I thought this is for sure where the new um, truck stuff would be. So we do have Universal now. I don't think it said that before. I think it just said Koenig. So it looks like as long as it says Universal, I'm assuming I can use it on the truck. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. I already own the abandoned grocery store beside us. I just need a little more money to complete everything. All right. So yeah, I had like 49 out of the 5,000 that I needed. So if I just buy something here, will he own it now? Uh, there is new spacers. There's bigger spacers. Not like we needed bigger spacers. Uh, but I would like to make my car even more absurd. So <laughs> talk about lucky. I love how I prep for this episode. I mean, I still have to figure out how to pave my road. But I love how I, I spent so much time prepping for this episode by grinding out some money. And uh, I don't think we're going to need much of it at all, actually. Which is shocking in this game because usually it's a massive grind. All right, well, there you go, buddy. All I had to do was buy a spacer, and you are the proud owner of a store now. Well, I guess technically you already were the owner, but you have enough money to set it up at least. Do I want to buy anything else? Like, most of it, unfortunately, is Koenig, so it doesn't look like there is much for the truck yet, but, I mean, I have to keep the whole yellow theme going. <laughs> we'll buy the flower wheels. He should be here tomorrow, I believe, too, so we can get two more. Obviously, he's only selling two at a time right now. Don't really understand that. That's a bad idea, dude. So, yeah, aside from very basic things, I can't add anything else. I guess I could put a tachometer in there and all the gauges. I think I'm just going to buy this paintable shifter. I think that's new, so I should be able to paint that. Of course, it's going to be yellow. <laughs> But yeah, aside from that, there's not much else. I'm very curious to see what's going to be in that store, though. I, I doubt it's just going to be simply food. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, my God. Garage door too far. I have a remote garage door opener. I just saw that. All right, and it's always a good day when you can paint a knob. So we'll buy some yellow spray paint. No, I would like to use my spray paint and spray this. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. All right, so yeah, just took a quick browse here once again. Not really seeing anything else. I guess the one thing we could buy is rims for these and add them to it. I didn't even think about that. Good thing. Uh, we still need to come tomorrow and do the same thing again, though. So that's fine. We got summer tires. Do we sh We don't actually have winter tires here, do we? I don't think they were called summer tires before. We'll take summer tires. That's fine. All right, so we put that on that, put that on that, and then it goes on... And I don't think we have to air them up, right? It's been so long since I did this. <laughs> yeah, we are good. Look at that. Oh, there's the jerk. Let's see if he runs into me. Are you going to run into me? You jerk! I swear he has a vengeance for me. Oh, man. I will get you back again. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't stop. All right, home sweet home. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. High tech and everything. Oh. <gasps> I just saw in the update. Re this is something I was trying to do. Reward when filling the huge dealer box in a day. All right, so maybe I should tend to my weed a little bit more. I believe we needed eight for that. We are currently uh, growing, well, a little bit. So I do about one and a half huge packs every harvest. So it will take a while. I don't know if we'll get it done in this episode, but I really want to see what that reward is now. All right, it's kind of exciting vi visiting all these places I haven't been to in forever. Um, okay, so as I said, there is a new item here. I don't know if it's going to be easy to find or not. All right, there is... Oh, there it is right there. I didn't even see it. I was like, there's the only Koenig I can find in this whole place. And we... Okay, it's just a basic steering wheel. I just said a new Koenig steering wheel, so that'd be really cool. 
It literally is just the generic one. I mean, I guess I am using a grinder blade as my steering wheel. So technically an upgrade, but I am not changing the grinder blade. That thing's been lucky for me. So yeah, not the most exciting of upgrades. Not even sure why they added it to the junkyard of all places, but um, well, that's something new at least. All right, and if you missed the last episode, I did technically complete all the to-do lists, but one thing I didn't do was actually grab my winnings. Uh, so yeah, we have to go to rewards. God damn it. And then I can claim them. What? I actually get rewards? So yeah, I've done all the races more than enough. This is fantastic. And there we go. My to-do list are officially done. Mind you, there's supposed to be a harder one now. This is cool. All right, so yeah, I'd rather not race tonight. I just want to get home and see if this opens up tomorrow or not. All right, and yeah, we're just going to take off the whole back here. All right, so that should pop that off. There we go. Spoiler is off. Look at that. We got carbon fiber now. Do we have carbon fiber now? How do I place this? Come on. There we go. Oh, that looks so cringe. It's great. Okay, so now we got that. We just want to figure out what spoiler do we want. You know what? That actually makes it kind of look cool. The whole goal of this car is to not look cool. All right, so yeah, there we go. Super easy mod. Next up, let's uh, try and change out this exhaust. I think I actually got to go underneath to do that. So it's been a long time since I did this. This is exciting. All right, yeah, right here. Perfect. So we take that like that. Is that it? Just one? I don't want to drop it in case it's two. It is two. Okay. All right, so now I need to unhook that. Bam. I hope we can put this on the truck because that would be adorable. But when you give me an exhaust like this <laughs> you you gotta use it man all right let's go grab the air gun again hey leo how you doing buddy you having a good day <laughs> i love that i can pet him well down here uh now i really wish i could just use these on this but i can't so it looks like it's just the wheels for now unless unless i can indeed take off that exhaust and no as you can see there's just no connect points it's very bare bones so Hopefully one day we can mod the old truck. Right now, it's just uh, the wheels. So I guess we'll prep this for its new set. I mean, we already have a couple here anyways, and we'll do the change route just to make sure this works. I'm assuming these wheels work just fine. And yes, indeed. Look at that. Oh, it looks good now. God. What? I don't know why I hate when my cars look good in games. All right. Is it finally open? Oh my God, it is. Oh, it is a parts store. Look at how big this is. Leo, are you as excited as I am, buddy? Let's go check out this new place. Dude, this looks so good. Hey, what's up? We are well stocked for a Koenig like yours. Well, I already have a lot of Koenig stuff. Wait. <laughs> I thought it was a bike seat. I was like, is there bikes? That's not a bike seat. We gotta buy it. Oh, God, we so have to buy it. Oh, this is so stupid. So yeah, a lot of the old stuff, but a lot new of new things as well. We got old truck leaf springs, uh, four inch lift. Oh, we definitely want the 12 inch lift. They're supposed to be uh, mud tires. Yes. Oh, we got off road tires too. Okay. This is exciting. This is very, very exciting. Snorkel. Does that mean we can go in water? Oh my God. If we can use this to, to cross the water, it might actually be faster to cross the river than it is to uh, take the long way here. Because I don't know if you remember, I have a freaking boat in this game. Uh, we got a performance engine, so I think that's the same old engine. So yeah, there's actually a lot more customization than I expected uh, for the old truck. I am really excited to get some decent wheels on this thing. Oh my god, the heart. <laughs> what timing? It's Valentine's Day right now, and that's when the update happened. I wonder if that was intentional. Oh, is this it? Turbo construction. Oh, five, 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 seven, six, two, three. I am so glad I just looked over. That has to be how we do uh, the uh, paving. All right, that feels good. It's all coming together. Let's see if there's anything new at the sugar shop. So before you used to just drop them here. What is this? <gasps> Back the old truck with the maple syrup bed tank. Dude, how do I get this? Oh my god, the whole store is uh, a much better layout. And there it is. Combo truck, bed tank, and outside pump. This is fantastic. 
I, the reason I don't deal with maple syrup anymore is these freaking barrels. So they're, they're a nightmare to deal with. And you really only get, what, $200 per barrel? If I can just use my truck, it's going to be so easy. I can just take my, it to my system, load this up, drop it off here. Oh, dude, this is great. You won't get this attack passing by your home. The installation should be finished by next time you get back. You can back into the garage door next to the pallet with the tank. All right, so I'm assuming the tech coming to my house will give me essentially a nozzle to load this thing up. I still have to uh, do this myself. I don't know how I'm going to bring this home. We need to uh, maybe bring the old truck here. But yeah, I definitely wanted to buy that. All right, we're back at the store now. I'm just going to buy... I'm just going to go on a shopping spree. I've been wanting to do this, so we are going to buy everything that we need to upgrade this thing. All right, so we got spacers, we got rims. What else do we need? We want to get the 12-inch um, lift, of course. And, of course, the pneus and sold. No idea what that means. I should probably know more French being Canadian, but I don't. <laughs> All right, we're going to get the snorkel. <laughs> oh god i'm spending all my money but i want to get this i don't know which one i want i kind of like the absurdity of this one yeah that's that that looks mean so we're gonna buy that and then we need the rear bumper it looks like we only have one option for that but that's okay and of course we're gonna get the safety rack with lights the more lights the better all right i I think that's enough i just spent like seven grand here this guy must love me all right so yeah i left the majority of the crap uh back at the store uh only because well i have a full inventory and i'm not gonna be able to bring it all but the only thing i really want to install right now is these leaf springs i can do everything else right in front of the store i just wouldn't have been able to do these because i don't have the the uh creeper at the uh store so yeah i can hopefully just disassemble these i wonder if i need to take off the wheels it doesn't look like it. We can just take it off, I guess. I don't know. Let's just find out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There's the old leaf spring. Look at how thin that thing is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be so high off the ground. 18 inches is insane. All right, let's take this thing out for a spin. Why don't we? Look at the size of this thing now. Sorry, Leo. You're gonna stay home, buddy. Well, I will say, I thought it'd be way worse at handling. It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's just absurd. It feels so weird. All right, let's finally make this thing actually look kind of cool with these tire upgrades. And we got to do all the bumpers. I also need to attach the roof rack. All right. Oh, hell yeah. This is so redneck. It is great. <laughs> I can't believe how much he added uh, to mod this thing. All right, and the back doesn't look too bad at all. Very basic, just has some uh, tow hooks. All right, and that is everything besides the wheels, which should be the biggest change here. So let's uh, change these old crappy ones that we've had forever and get something that won't look at least so absurd with this big lift. Mind you, it still looks absurd. We need bigger wheels. Okay, and there we go. We have even pressures. Look at it's actually kind of cool like in an absurd way i love this thing what an awesome update to an already awesome game uh yeah there's still so much more to do but i think i'm gonna wrap up this episode here guys in the next one now we'll be working on our maple syrup game uh we also want to finish up that weed challenge that we got going on we can fill that whole thing Obviously, we need to pave this road as well. I still haven't called that to figure out how much that's going to be. But being that I'm down to $6,000 now, I doubt that's going to be enough. The important part is we spent all our money on very serious upgrades like crazy 18-inch lifts. And I have to say, with these uh, mud tires on it now, this road isn't so bad. Maybe I'm not going to get this thing paved. But yeah, I will just to see what happens when we do. So yeah, super awesome update. Definitely the biggest update for this game yet and uh there's still a bunch more to do so if you guys are enjoying this please hit that like button so i know and yeah thanks so much for watching and liking guys i'll see you in the next one oh god